Hope is the expectation of good things in the future. Does hope make a difference in these days of uncertainty and stress? When Paul wrote his letter to the Corinthian church, they were in a lot of stress. Their culture was full of immorality and all forms of sin, and there was a great deal of stress and pressures on them as followers of Christ. There are a lot of parallels between his day and our day, and he writes in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, we are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. Alice and I had made plans for a picnic some time ago, and we were really looking forward to it. And then later in the morning, it started to rain, and it rained hard. And I thought, oh boy, this is no day to be going on a picnic. And about 10 minutes later, this, the rain stopped, and then the sun came out, and it turned out to be a very beautiful day. And we went on our picnic, and we really enjoyed it. You know, sometimes the weather can change very quickly, can it? And sometimes our circumstances can change very quickly also. The question is, where do we focus? Evil and suffering, suffering and uncertainty can overwhelm us when we focus on the immediate circumstances around us, but the perspective that gives us hope is when we focus on the eternal truth of God's hope. God's faithfulness is always a source of hope. Where do you find hope in these days of uncertainty and stress? Reading again another section, therefore we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away Yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day, for our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen, since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. So where do we naturally fix our eyes? Of course, we fix it on the temporary, the bad weather, the bad circumstances, and all those kinds of things. But the Word of God challenges us to focus on the hope of the future. In Psalm 25, David writes, No one who hopes in you will ever be put to shame, but shame will come on those who are treacherous without it cause. You may want to read Psalm 25 sometime today, but ask yourself the question, where do I find my hope? What is my focus on, the immediate or the temporary? Remember, it's Christ's hope that is eternal. If we can help you in your walk with God, call us at LifePoint Church, 612-305-8362.